Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Hearthstone. Uh, today we're going to be playing a little bit of the new Jade Golem deck type, uh, specifically my Druid Jade Golem deck. Uh, this is a really fun new ability. I like this one a lot. It reminds me a lot of old magic card types. Um, this one is kind of interesting. What it does is each Jade Golem you play is uh, one one bigger than the last one. As the game progresses the problem is you do have to kind of ramp to it and especially in the early to mid game it can seem a bit there can be a little slow to get the ball rolling that said um the reason i'm playing my druid is because uh, druids have a couple of ways that they can increase their mana gain obviously so you can get to some of the higher mana cost cards a little more quickly uh, we'll hold on to this Wrath and ditch the rest of these. Unfortunately, you really want to get at least one or two Jade cards in your opening pull, it I feel like. Bummer. Okay, but bummer. Um, just because it really helps with... Uh, Hello. It really helps with getting things started right away. My I got a polite person, but I'm nervous. Mages always make me nervous. Uh, we'll open with actually a coin and a Wrath, because I don't want to deal with this mana worm. Done. And then, uh, I think maybe Sir Mergleton next turn, because I hate the Druid hero power. So please tell me if this is secretly a great hero power, but I've always felt like Druid is maybe the worst. Just because, like, the trade-off for taking hits when you attack people is not great, in my opinion. God damn. See, that's exactly what I wanted to avoid. At least we killed one of them, right? Good god. Um, what hero power do we want here? We don't have anything to play her for, so no point in using it, right? I wouldn't mind the mage hero power, though it's not amazing in this situation. Weapon, not great. Hero totem, uh, totemic call. Mm. Let's just stick with uh, fire blast. It's always a solid thing to fall back on. And we will uh, not be able to even use it. I'm not going to waste my innervate on that. Bit of a slow start here, but hopefully we can start getting some draw and some jade cards go, uh, going here. Uh, if not, you know, this is not my most consistent deck, just one of the more fun ones. Um, okay, so we'll Raven Idol in the hopes that we can get a low mana cost minion here. Four mana, okay. Well, we can play a four mana minion if we innervate into it. Uh, and the one that I'm going to pull is, you know what, we'll do Daring Reporter because it's cool. I'm not actually... I don't have one one each time they draw a card. Although, she'll likely trade this, but that's... Oh, she can't anymore. Haha! <laughs> right, because they draw right away. This is a cool card. I wouldn't mind uh, putting this in maybe my zoo deck or something like Someday that. I'll be just like I wonder you. if it's an epic or a rare. How do you tell the rarity of a card? I never quite figured this out outside of legendary. Can you tell just by looking at them? Is it the col It's probably that backing color, so that's rare. Is this a common? Huh. Anyways, so uh, we're just going to continue pinging away here. I think it might be wise to gain the plus 8 armor here just because I know we could take out this other one this turn, but uh, I think it's a little bit more uh, savvy to go for the defense in this situation. Especially because we can't burn and attack in the same turn if we want to use that. Next turn, I can't decide. I think I want to... I, I'm tempted to Drake, but... Oh, yeah, we're definitely going to Drake. I was going to say we might just take out the mirror image. Things cause problems. I really want to get to the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Could use, like, a swipe or something here. Oh, Living Roots. That's actually pretty solid. Um, Only problem is, if I play it, I can't play anything else this turn. So I think it might be wiser to go with the Azur Drake. I might at least eat the 5-4. Um, we'll see. I think maybe he might also just attack into it and then fire blast. Or, you know, ignore it completely because he has pretty solid board advantage here. We finally have some swipe. There was a swipe. Uh, it would have been super nice. We could have cleared the whole board with it. Um, instead, we'll have to settle for half the board, which isn't terrible. Could be uh, better, could be worse. Um, Jade Blossom, obviously not. So what we'll do is we will swipe... How do I want to do this? I want to ping this and then swipe, or do I want to swipe then ping this? Probably would make the most sense because the other stuff's not really that big of a threat. So yeah, let's go swipe and get rid of your spell cost reduction. Here's the thing: it may look like she's had really good control this whole game, and she certainly has been able to lay a good number of cards. But she doesn't have a huge card advantage, especially for a mage. I feel like. Um, and also, really not much of a life advantage either. 
That said, this secret makes me nervous. It's probably a mirror image, which makes me want to not lay the creatures I have in my hand. Unfortunately, I don't think Jade Go Golem will trigger it, so maybe we hold off on playing a creature for this turn if we can. Because um, I can't really do any of my spell combos anyways, so I think what we'll do is we'll go Jade Blossom, and that'll give us a creature, which is something at least. And then we'll summon two one one saplings as well, because that'll help us clear out the board here. Yeah. Neither of those will trigger her ability. And then we'll Feral Rage as well, just in case it's a counterspell, because I don't really care that much if it is a counterspell. Job's done. Um, losing the Feral Rage. But no. Okay. Increasingly likely that this is either a Vaporize or a m m Mirror Image. Or is it Mirror Image? Sorry, Mirror Image is zero to taunt. What is the, uh, not Mirror Entity? Is it Mirror Entity? I can't remember what the secret is that copies the minion you put into play. Do we want to play a turn 9 Jade uh, Blossom? Let's see. We definitely don't want to give them a Gadgets on Auctioneer, but we also definitely don't want to give them an Arcane Giant. Do we leave board control in their hands until we know what that is? Oh, it's so that's playing so much more defensively than I like to, but you know what? We're still doing okay here. I know I just traded away a draw, and I trust me, I do not feel good about it. Um, but we're just making little confirmations here, because I really don't want to feed my opponent a 4-4 four, four, and an 8-8, eight, because eight, I have no good way to counter it. And a mage is going to benefit from my auctioneer way more than I would. Please, 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 give me a bad creature here. Um, probably... This is not great, you guys. Uh, I have 10 mana. Do I gadget on and just risk it? I have to. I just I have to. I need the draw. Anywhere. Okay. So, that was all worrying for nothing, and I probably may have cost the game, myself the game for it. But, you know what? It is what it is. So that's a vaporize, I think. Um, so whatever I attack with next is going to be killed. Yeah. And I do not have a great way to remove this 9-7 short of trying to fill the board. But fortunately, that's exactly what we can do. Jade Golem, Jade Golem, Arcane Giant. <laughs> Jade Spirit, Jade Spirit, and that's two more. That's hilarious. So we emptied our hand. We're, we're, we're really risking it all here. We're one flame strike away from basically losing this game, which was pretty dumb this late into the game. Because it's absolutely coming. Here it is. Yep, see? So, and then he'll trade, and then... We have nothing. Okay, this is not <laughs> this is not looking great for us, but uh, we'll uh, we'll do our best here. Oh yes, top deck. Give me those three cards. I need them so bad. Okay, he's got the life advantage. We want to attack his North Sea Kraken. Does Vaporize trigger? I'm gonna be terrible and look it up. Vaporize Hearthstone. Does it trigger when you attack a minion or when you attack the opponent? Uh, Vaporize takes effect in the same taxi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, when a minion attacks, your hero destroy it. So we can make this rather inefficient trade. And you know what? I think we will. I think what we're going to do is this. We're going to go Raven Idol into a spell to come up with our gadgets on auction near next turn. And we will take... Ooh, Starfall is tempting. I think Starfall definitely... So we can nuke something. But then we're going to make this trade. And we have to just remember she has a Vaporize in play. Ooh. Well, no, that was smart. I was going to say I should have played the Jade Idol, but we'll save that to get an extra draw next turn. And I think... 5-5 oh, five, five Jade Idol is pretty good here. Oh, they have a 5-5 five, five too. Hmm. It'll depend on what we draw. Well, we don't know. Yeah, and what we draw this turn. Ooh, okay. Hmm. I think the Taunt is better for the 3-6 Taunt even if it does hamstring us for the rest of this turn. Um, yeah, it's just better. Because we get the golem. All right, and then we'll just ping and continue reminding ourselves that what we, whatever we attack them with is going to die. So probably this... Th let's see, this 5-5 five five is going to... Okay. Hmm, do I can vaporize? Or do they actually have a mix of stuff? Ooh, that hurts. Is that game... Not quite. Oh, wow. That, uh... Hmm. I guess my only hope is to play more Taunt! Uh... Six mana again. That's really all I can do. You know what? We're gonna do that. And... Fuck it. This game's over. We gotta just try and get some creatures going. Oh, no. There's that mirror entity I was so afraid of. Uh, of course. 
And what I'm gonna do is five to it here. And ping it. Kill his four three with my three six. We're okay. We have a chance as long as he doesn't pull a fireball. We have four turns left. Or a frost bolt. Or really oh any damaging spell. There we go, that's game. Bummer. Oh come on. I'm sure you have lethal without it. Ah, maybe not. Okay, well, you know, that was a pretty good match. You got to see what the Jay Golem deck is going for, but you see why it's so important that it starts rolling early on. Um, fortunately, this mage may have beaten us, but she was a pretty good sport about it. <laughs> uh, let's jump right back in and see if we can't turn this around. Man, that sucks. That's the first loss of the new series, but uh, I don't think so catastrophic. It's not at least still got some educational value. So we're going to jump back in, see if we can do a little bit better this time. Um, hopefully, we can get a little bit better of a... Uh, an opening, uh, if mulliganing, what was it, three of five is not never ideal, or excuse me, three of five, uh, mulliganing, I think it was two of three, we had a coin, whatever, I'm overthinking it, okay, another mage, great, is this the same mage, it feels like it, so statistically, that's so unlikely, it's ridiculous, has that ever happened to any of you guys, have you ever, like, run into the same randoms repeatedly at like high ranks of play like I under or sorry I guess low high rank numbers low skill uh, ceiling I only ask because like there must be a massive pool you see a lot of the pros and stuff bump into each other a lot just because like they're it's the same group of people in those top ranks but the matchmaking pool I assume is so huge at my rank especially on like the North American servers uh, we have two mana but we can't really do it well we're gonna do the same thing we did last turn God damn, I hate these fucking turn one mana worms. They drive me crazy. I wish Wrath was one mana. I know it'd be super OP then, but I always feel weird coining into a Wrath, especially when I'm not getting the value uh, draw out of it. Okay, let's just fuck up this whole map. At least he didn't have anything to fall back on like uh, our other buddy did last game. So we have two mana, now we can innervate into a Jade Spirit. See, like, this is the kind of early game ramp that you want to try and get with a uh, Jade Golem deck. Because now we have our first Jade Golem out. Next one is going to be a 2-2, etc. And it's going to be really sweet. Um, also, one thing, a little, like, Easter egg, I guess, or maybe just a feature, I guess, that I noticed with the Jade Golems that I think is kind of amazing is that each one you play, they... Maybe it's every two, they update the art. So, like, the 8-8 like, eight, eight ones have, like, crazy enchanted armor and stuff that looks super sweet. And this is what we call, like, a pretty ideal curve here. Because um, we just got another mana and another Jade Gold. And he is not running a Vaporize. It's going to be a Counterspell or a Mirror Entity. Or, excuse me, Mirror Image. Or, uh, I still can't remember what that thing is called. And I, I just got it played against me. So he's going to get the second worm, but it's not going to do nearly as much for him now. And I think we're just going to Feral Rage to kill it. I prefer to take the armor from Feral Rage, because I think it's a little bit better of a trade, but we'll see. Uh, also, with our current hand and our current creatures, but against a mage, I think we stick with... Mm, I could get a spell, though. We're discovering that's a spell. So we could get one to just kill this thing. Um... Ooh, Soul of the Forest is fun, but I like. F I could have another Feral Rage for free. Let's go with Soul of the Forest because it's sweet. And should we just play it now and then make really good trades here? Yeah, Value Town, Value Town, ba boom, ba boom, Triads. And we continue to not play minions directly from our hands. Nice. The uh, other Jade Golem deck that I have is actually a Rogue Jade Golem deck, and that one, um, it's actually a little bit more fun, I think, to play, but it's way less consistent than this one is, I think, because of the slow burn to start out. But um, that one's really fun because it's got even more, I like, uh, spell-type ones, or spell-type Jade Golems, I believe. Most of the Druid special ones are uh, creatures. Yes, kill it so I can have another 2-2. Haha, -ha, more Jade Golems! See, this is, what I'm, this is how it should be. He's going to get a copy of this one, unfortunately. God, I gotta remember that shit. And not that I had really a better play there, but we're, now we have to trade all three of these guys away, which is really kind of a bummer. It doesn't really matter to me as much, because we'll get Treant back, and also we're continuing our Jade Golem ramp, which again is like the most important thing. Okay, so maybe it's not every... Well, let's see. We can look back at the... Um, we can look back at the portraits. Oh, no, we killed our first two Jade Golems too long ago, I think. Because there are... Uh, 
I wanted to show you guys the arc getting updated. I think it got the max of level 3. I think now he's going to have a new shield with the next one I lay. And we shall do it like this for attack. And we'll drop another Jade Spirit because, yeah, Jade Ramp. Kill his 2 4, kill his hero power, it's expensive again. And we'll end our turn. And check it out! Now it's got a sweet glowing armor set and a weird, like, axe sword. What is the grip on that axe even happening or doing? And then uh, the flame shield, which is pretty cool as well. Classic card. I must be playing, uh, yeah, I'm playing wild here. This is not in the game anymore, is it? I don't think it is. Uh, and again, nourish, clutch, always. Gotta love it. Remember, always draw beforehand. Oh, counter spell! No! That's okay. And then when some, you lose some. Can I efficiently kill this? I'm gonna have to take damage to myself or trade away an extra damage. Um, I'd rather take the damage myself in this situation. And then hopefully whatever he gets, I can kill with my golem. Psh. Joke. Nice. And you know what? We're gonna drop two saplings because they're useful. When he's got no board control, he's going to have to waste mana pinging them, probably. Or maybe not have to. We'll see. It depends on what his spread is. He's got four cards left. Oh, that was pretty nice. Oh, thank God. He's got one. And then he'll ping the other. Yep. But I can get value here. Oh, except this is a 6-6 six, six now. Jeez, that's annoying. Kind of wish I had that ping for two damage now. Let's go ahead and... Do we want to draw and get a creature? And spell damage? Or do we want to draw three? This isn't a great play either way. This could be amazing, but this also guarantees a creature, and I could draw shit with this, so... Oh, we'll go as we break. At least we'll have some board presence. Yep, yeah, okay, good call. Oh! Oh! Great call! Ha-ha! <laughs> Fuck you, mage. You better have a polymorph in that hand. Um, and then I'm actually going to go for the face here, because he does not have an efficient way to trade this out as far as I can see. As long as he doesn't drop a flame strike, I swear to god. Not another Someday clutch flame strike. Like oh, it's gonna be a clutch flame strike. Fuck you. But he's realizing if I play a flame strike, I can't ping for one, and then I won't grow it. I swear this is a flame strike. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's what my gut tells me. Frostbolt? What is this weak shit? Yeah, the ping. That's what I've been waiting for. And then he'll make that trade. That's fine with me. His <laughs> growing 8-8 eight, eight was way higher value. And then here, you want to talk about value. We got value for days. Ba-boom. Take a swipe. Thank you. Ba-boom. Take some cards. Gotta love draw, you guys. Gotta love draw. So how big are they? They're five fives now, I think. Ooh, but then we got a gadget on auctioneer. Okay, this is where... Ooh, but we still... Okay, we wait till next turn. And we will drop our gadgets on auctioneer. And then also Jade Idol off the back of that, so that we can draw another card. I always want to play Jade Idol right away, but that's not always the best call. Jade Idol is really cool, this card. So, most of the time, I go with shuffling three copies in my deck the first time it comes up. Depending on last game, like, it was so down to the wire, I couldn't afford to. But it's so nice to be, like, when you draw three or draw two cards in a turn, and have them both be Jade Idols towards the end of the game, it's so powerful. So, having the one is nice, but then I only have one left in my deck. I have a playset. Whereas otherwise, I have a pretty good chance of drawing them. So this double swipe is pretty nice here. Um, I think the move to do 50% chance to attack the wrong enemy, gain one health, uh, is going to be auctioneer into swiping this dude. And then I'm going to trade my golem, even though I miss him already. We got plenty more where that came from. Can't get upset about the death of the deaths in the terracotta army, right, guys? So, um, this is a much better example of how this should go. Ha! I knew it was a flame strike, and what a fucking waste now. <laughs> He's gonna be kicking himself too because this deck, the creatures just keep coming in this deck. <clears throat> Excuse me. Still didn't get any very good value though from the um, from our good all gadgets on auctioneer. I guess he he at least got rid of it before I could pull a crazy stun to this turn. Um, so instead, what we're going to do is we're going to Azur Drake, get a card out of it. We got an Innervate, which doesn't really help us here because 
we don't really need most of these cards. I'm going to hold on to this Feral Rage just in case I need to snipe something, but I will drop this Idol. And I think I need Creatures pretty bad right now, so I'll discover a minion. Big money, no whammies. Scenarius is cool. Um, oh, we got Aya Blackpaw. Awesome. She's the... Oh my god, yes. She's the J Jade Golem. <laughs> Legendary. She summons a Jade Golem on Battle Cry and Death Rattle. That's <laughs> great. Okay, so we're we're pretty golden now this game. I actually don't have her. Yeah, they're just going to forfeit. <laughs> so yeah, Jade Golem can be a lot of fun, but as you guys saw, it's a little bit inconsistent. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I actually had a lot of fun recording it. This is definitely one of my favorite deck types. Um, and so we'll be revisiting it soon uh, when I check out my Jade Rogue deck. Um, but in the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you did enjoy the episode, please be sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if there's any tips or anything you want to give me or just tell me I suck. I don't mind. I could use the promotion. Uh, anyways, though, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.